So she's an anticoagulant, so we are going to avoid the um, retrobulbar block, and instead we are going to do a peribulbar block. Again, the majority of this block is just for comfort during the procedure, but even more so for comfort after the procedure. So it's completely okay in this situation to not necessarily be able to get the retrobulbar block, although it does make it a little bit easier. So again, just a peribulbar, so just around the eye, that's what elevating that conjunctiva. And we'll let that take effect real quick. And our initial settings are 4,500, We're going for 30 spots. So we're just going to do a test quadrant in each area first. We're listening for snaps and crackles and pops. Nothing there. I find that the nasal quadrants are usually the ones that are going to crackle first. And so I rely on them the most. And superiorly is usually the first for me. So nothing. Sneeze. So we're going to turn up the power to 2000. And we're just going to do the same thing. We're going to adjust and go next to where we went before so the numbers, so the spots count. But we're looking for a crackle. And I don't usually like going above a power of 25 with my settings. So nothing again. And so I'm going to bring it up to my full power of 25. And we're just going to do a full treatment here. Oh, sneeze. So now first treatment's about a millimeter, millimeter and a half away from the limbus. We're just gonna slowly walk across the limbus. You could use a lid speculum, but I find that they're more, they're difficult to use in comparison to just kind of spreading the lids with your fingers. The speculum seems to get in the way and likes to get caught on the tip of the CPC probe. Oh, syringe? So we're gonna avoid three and nine o'clock because of the vascular supply to the eye. And we're just gonna stay in between all the other clock hours. Again, we're still doing this first row that's just one millimeter away from the limbus. We can usually get in somewhere around 15 to 17 to 18 spots. And then we'll fill in the rest about two millimeters, two and a half millimeters away from the limbus as a posterior row. Um, She has a little bit of subconch kenalog there. I do that two days beforehand just to help with the healing process and make it easier on the patient so they're not having to use the drops as frequently. Um, I do still keep them on topical drops though. spots seven more a little more posterior on this round mm -hmm. kind of trying to avoid the tube region up here I don't want to cause any damage to that pleb I just got to fit in two more spots to get my 30. Mm -hmm. 
so that's all 30. And we're gonna do a drop of atropine for comfort. And then, do you have your Maxitrol over there? Uh, Can I have your right Maxitrol? Here. Oh, there it is. Cool. Yeah, that's fine, so I can see what's yeah. going on constantly. A little bit of Maxitrol ointment. And a pressure patch. All done.